Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to chat with the three of you again. Julio, Melanie, Tosca, thank you so much for joining me today to talk about Gabriel's Rapture Part 2. I've seen it twice now. I absolutely loved it. And this is actually exciting for me because this is the first time that I've chatted with the three of you all together. We've chatted many times over the years, and the last time I saw each of you was on set but I'm always speaking with Julio and Melanie or Tosca. So I'm so happy that I could get all three of you today. So welcome everybody. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you for having us. Yes, yes. I actually wanted Hello. to- Hi, hi. I wanted to, when is the last, <laughs> Melanie's already cracking up. I love it. <laughs> when, when is the last this is time- actually... Well, go ahead. No, I just, I, I was just randomly looking at my uh, library right now. And I just found out I have this. Oh, oh no! Way. Very I random. See. Very randomly. Very random. Hey, I really look like this guy. Yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it goes with the theme here. It goes with the theme. When is the last time the three of you were in a room together? By the way, the premiere of Gabriel's Wrapped Up Hot. Oh one. yeah, yeah. In ba was that in, in Boston? Boston. Yeah. yeah, I was on a cruise. Sorry, guys. Yeah, it was wonderful. It was so great to see everyone and it was such a lovely party. And it was like, again, one of the last times that we could all get together and then we couldn't again. And now we can. -ish. I know we made it in this like really yeah. um, wonderful little slot before Never. everything went to crap again. It was <laughs> well, well organized, Tosca. Thank you. <laughs> That's I, how I really like to wish I could be there. Yeah, Julia, what were your thoughts about the premiere and the fact that you guys were able to have a premiere this time with the, during the pandemic and everything? It was awesome you guys could even yeah. do it. Exactly. It was the first time all together in a premiere and um, was was such a, I mean, I had a, I had a great time, uh, even though I came for just a couple of days there. So it was a very tight schedule. But uh, it was nice to see Melanie, it was nice to see Tosca, all the other people of the cast and crew, um, some of other actors from other uh, Passion Felix movies. And it uh, was, was a beautiful experience also to, uh, you know, share uh, for once uh, the emotions of, with, uh, of course, of, of, of watching yourself uh, with the public just around you. And you can, I really could feel everything you know the breeding and all the you know everything that was going on in their minds and it was very uh, compelling uh, feeling it was a, such a beautiful experience of course i was exhausted after two days because i had to fly there and fly back and then i went to poland for another three days for another movie but it's also is always um, such a fantastic experience that is always good to do it anyway even oh. though you don't sleep for days doesn't matter it doesn't matter. I didn't even think about that the first time you guys could actually see like an audience reaction. Melanie, what was it like, Melanie and Tosca, what was it like just like being around massive fans watching the film for the first time? It, there's something so enjoyable about being able to watch people who like really love these books so much, um, enjoy them come to life. Like that was just as enjoyable as watching the film for me more so seeing like um how it affected the people who really it was made for yeah and i love it because for me it's almost like like a like theater so you when you get that immediate reaction from the fans who have who know the story so well and they're so invested and they are so eager for you to do a great job and then you actually exceed those expectations it's just really wonderful and that I mean people were laughing and crying and just you know in awe of julio and melanie's performance and portrayal of these two characters so you know, it was just, it was a, it was a beautiful experience. Oh my God. It sounds so much fun. I lost Julio on video here, but I think he'll pop back on. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, bye. <laughs> uh, I'm very, I'm, I'm very sorry. Um, You're fine. Ellie from Passion Flix is, is sending me um, weird messages. So <laughs> it, 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 it is always like that. I'm sorry. Oh my God, you're fine. It, it, it makes it makes it fun. Well, I I was tell Julio, I was telling Tosca and Mel right before you came on that I've seen part two twice now. 
absolutely loved it. I cannot wait for fans to see the film because it's really just like so heartbreaking in a way. It's just insane. I got so many fan questions, but I kind of just want to jump to Belize. Belize is a huge staple and the gorgeous scene in, in a gorgeous like whole sequence in this film. And I was so jealous that you guys got to actually go there on, you know, on location to film. So Tosca, I want to begin with you. How, how was Belize? Just talk to me about anything Belize related because I, I love mean, that sequence. <laughs> I think it was fantastic. It was, uh, it, it was truly an amazing experience to be able to go there again, also during COVID. So it was pretty intense to be able to go over there and then come back. And, um, and then we shot everything. We were there for a week, but we only shot for two and a half days. And it was just um, incredible. You know, we have the sequence where they had, um, you know, the sequence where it was um, the, the, uh, the profile by the beach it was the, the late night at the beach. Mm -hmm. And we actually shot that um, super early in the morning because we could use it as a the brightness of the sun on the ocean to create this feeling of a moon so it was just just technically it was really interesting but that was also the day that both Melanie and I got heat stroke <laughs> oh wow how hot was it when you guys were there it was hot it was very warm <laughs> Wow. We worked so from so early in the morning and just kept going, kept going, kept going, kept going. And then at one point I actually had to like just leave set and go and just jump in a plunge pool and try and cool down. And then I came back and then I was like, oh, no, I've got to go back and jump in this plunge pool. And then I just, just jump in the pool and cool down. And Melanie's like, I'm going to keep going. Everything's fine. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going. And then she had to do another reading for um, I think another audition after we wrapped and she's like, I can't do it. I'm out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was like, I've, I've just vomited from heat stroke. I think we're done. I think today is a wrap. It's a picture wrap of the day wrap. Oh but, my God. But other than that, you know, that was just one day. It was, it was, it was also just a, another quick story. It was just so, um, it was so beautiful and so magical to be able to shoot in Belize. And so it was, I remember Julio actually beforehand, we were shooting a sequence that's going to be in Gabriel's part three and it was freezing cold and in the rain. He's like, why am I doing this? Why am I an actor? And then he comes to Belize and he's like, I love doing this. I want to be an actor. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> So it really depends, you know, on what, what kind of, uh, you know, on what kind of experiences. Environment like, you are in. <laughs> the environment. I feel like Belize is a great location to act, minus the heat stroke, of course. But um, Julio and Melanie, what were your just memories and, and thoughts of filming in Belize? I'm assuming this is the first time you guys both had, had filmed there. So just really quick from you, each of you, Melanie, I want to begin with you. Um, look, I think we'd be working so hard and running so fast and Belize was at the end and we kind of arrived at the airport and I was like oh my gosh we're in Belize this is <laughs> happening so it was sort of a shock I hadn't thought about it at all and then we arrived in paradise um so it was it really magical and surreal um I have one little story from when we were leaving so we were uh all um we were supposed to have Two, two vehicles taking us back to the airport. We only had one that, that mixed up when we were all kind of sardined in. And I was having a little nap and then um, someone screamed um, Scorpion. And um, there, I, Krista, the makeup artist turned and there was a scorpion climbing up her back. Giant, um, giant scorpion. In the car? In yeah. On her back? on her back climbing and she's about this far from me and people were yelling and I just pulled up my jumper and put it around the scorpion we stopped and we let it out and that's being an Australian because you're in Australia so you have seen some wicked I've never seen a scorpion before okay but I was like oh it's probably a spider I was like no that's a scorpion um yeah, so, yeah. they're beautiful. beautiful they had a they had a beautiful nap together on that bus, Melanie and the scorpion. Um, yeah, she. <laughs> <laughs> it was big though. The scorpion was huge. Oh, and, uh, yeah. So many fun behind the scenes things. Julia, what were your just thoughts and memories of shooting in Belize? Do you have any fun behind the scenes stories? 
well, of course, was um, okay. It was such a liberating feeling in the very beginning because we were just shooting so much, and and as always, um, is it's a very intense movie to make for everybody. For us, emotionally, we always have to be super connected. So it's like it's mentally very exhausting. So once we were there, uh, as Melanie said, once we land, uh, we landed, whatever. Um, I just remember that I felt like, oh, this is this is great. I I love this is this is the greatest job of of my life, you know, because it's it's one moment you are in a very difficult environment, the moment after you can be somewhere like in a paradise place like that one. And I didn't feel like I was working at all. That week was probably the best week ever since we started to shoot Gabriel's even Inferno. Like it was just beautiful, you know, like you, you wake up every morning, you have birds, you have the sun, you have the beach, you have uh, the coconut water. It's just like, I felt very blessed to be there and I felt blessed to be there with these beautiful people. So it was, was, I have very beautiful memories. Yeah. It honestly looked beautiful, Tosca, the way you shot it. It felt like Gabriel and Julia were just there on the island on their own with nobody around. And I love the shot of Gabriel and Julia walking out of, of the, of the water onto the beach. That was like a James Bond shot. Yes, I know, that's exactly <laughs> what we were going for. It we did say that. <laughs> yeah, but it was beautiful and they were, you know, we initially we went there and it was scripted to actually just be a quick conversation, uh, some conversations inside the room. And when we got there, we were all looking at this paradise that we were in and we were going, why are we not filming all of this paradise? So we took the opportunity to just film um, Gabriel and Julia in all of these different locations and then created their conversation over all of those different scenes. So it allowed us to be, um, to, to understand their relationship and the way that they communicated and shared, but, but in all these different locations. So we got all the, we got to see everything, which was great. Also, I highly encourage everyone to go to Belize. It was fabulous. I know. I'm like, next time um, I will go. That will be my onset yeah. pick. Yeah. Because yeah. I remember yeah. it, it was nice. It's nice that you guys, it was during towards like the end of the shoot too. So you got to have like a little vacation as well. Um, I, so I absolutely love the hotel room Belize scene with the fruit, but mm -hmm. I felt for you guys because I was like, how sticky are they getting right now? Very <laughs> sticky. How the long? Sticky. Oh my God, Melanie, tell me about that. <laughs> Um, look, it was very sticky. I do love mango though. So you win some, you lose some. Um, uh, but generally great. Tosca did a beautiful job of filming. Um, you'll all find that out very soon. Um, but yeah, look, Belize in general, just a dream. Yes, yes, I loved it. Julio, what were your memories of filming the fruit scene? Because I felt like <laughs> that must have been sticky or like people coming to wipe you down but it was like honestly such a beautifully shot scene Tosca it was so pretty well it was the first time that I was able to eat fruit again after a month of a diet so it was I was very happy that day <laughs> I was uh, I, I, I had a great day but yeah it was um well, it's quite interesting, to be honest. Um, I, I, I mean, I remember I, I, I was laughing so much with Melanie about it, and uh, it's very sticky. Um, yeah. I don't know. I just, <laughs> but, you know. <laughs> it was also, I remember, like, little pieces of the mango we had to cut. So, because mango, pulling mango from, um, from an actual piece of fruit is hard because yeah. it's fibrous and it's... Yeah. It's not an easy pull. So it's like, let's go in there and make this sensual and beautiful. So we, we took the mango and we spread it open. We cut it up into little pieces and we're like, okay, let's see how you can pull it. And even still, they would put their hands on it and it looks beautiful, but it was, at, there were some shots where it's like, squish. <laughs> and you like pull it up and you're like, well, I, I just basically destroyed that piece of mango. And, and then also that you'd find that they would like, they have to, you know, as you'll see in the scene, they have mm -hmm. to squeeze the mango. And um, some of the mango was not that juicy. So you're like, I'm squeezing the mango. <laughs> like, I'm really squeezing this mango. Oh my God. It looked great. <laughs> it, did. It, it did look great. 
Um, I know that there's, you know, the, the whole film you're excited for fans to see, but what, is there a particular scene between Julia and Gabriel that you are most excited for fans to see within part two specifically? Tosca, I'll begin with you. Um, the scene that I'm the most excited about people seeing um, is the scene in the um, inquiry room. Um, when Julia trips and falls. Oh, it's I know. The, and then I, I can't, I can't wait for the fan reaction. Yeah. I, I love that. Mel, do you have a particular scene that you're excited to see the fan reaction for? Uh, I think the, yeah, as, as we're crescendoing to what we know is um, not where we want our characters to head. Yeah. Um, there's some scenes in there in the build-up that I think are really strong. Our lawyers are really great. They're both <laughs> super talented yeah. and I'm excited. Um, I'm excited for our lawyers. Just just putting that out there too. They're they were wonderful. All, the actors were incredible. They They're just incredible. jumped They're right so into good. those roles. They jumped right into those roles. It was incredible. Julia, what moment or scene are you excited to see the fan reaction for in part two? Okay, um, <laughs> I have to be fully honest with you. We've shot so many scenes that I don't actually remember all of them. But uh, and 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 also we we shot this in two very different uh, time time uh, piece. You know, like um, once was a piece was just right after or before the uh, so sorry, right before the pandemic, and one was shot after was. So, but, but I know that um, people will love the entire sequence uh, inside the, um, you know, as Tosca was saying, the moment where, where uh, Julia is tripping because um, that entire moment is actually when they started to split themselves yeah. and, you know, to um, uh, sort of a, like the, the, the drama is happening exactly over there. Does it make sense? So uh, that that entire sequence is very interesting uh, for me as a reader. I think for them also as a reader and also for me as an actor was was good to play around that, um, you know, to find the reason to actually start behaving in a different way. But at the same time, you know, uh, Gabriel is, is like trying to scream love for from all his heart uh, to 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 Julia uh, um, and and. But at the same time, he has to play this part. So it's, it, you know, it was also a uh, very um, challenging some, uh, or uh, how can I say, um, was, um, yeah, it was interesting as an actor also to, you know, play this double subtext. And, and I have to say that Melanie did a great job. I remember we were there. I don't know if you remember that, Melanie. We were, um, we had that scene outside of the uh, room with the Dean and the, the scene where you're actually saying to me, uh, you, you don't make decisions for me. Am I right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I, and I said to you, you remember, I said to you, just say it to me, just say to me, Julio. And, and she was like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say to you. <laughs> and she said to me. Yeah. Angel and, and, and I remember. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. No, I, like, it's, I, it's, it's I love nice, that. No. Whenever Melanie curses, I I love it. <laughs> oh, no, I love it. Well, it's, I love it too. Yes, yeah. I love it too. Well, it's I know that the, a, a, another major question I got, and I know Julia just touched on it, is that you guys have filmed these movies over such a long time frame, and you don't fill them in you know continuity. The scenes are all over the place. What has been the most challenging and difficult thing in doing that as an actor? Because I feel like all the other actors I talk to, they're like shooting something within, you know, a couple of weeks, a month. And I know you guys have all done projects like that as well. So how like game changing is it to keep stepping back into a character during different emotional time frames and, and like re-stepping back in after you haven't been playing them for a month? So Mel, I'll begin with you first. Like, how has this particular role and experience been different since you've been filming it this way? Um, well, this one's been wild because of the pandemic. 
So Rapture, um, having filmed part of the film at the start of 2020 and then coming back, you know, over a year later, it's the emotional continuity is what's, it's like, where am I at the story? Where was I back then in that part of the story? Um, it's a great challenge, but, but some positives is that this character, you know, you've been with it for a while. It's, it's percolating. You, your understanding of them has been sitting with you. So there were some bonuses, I think, in having that space. But, um, but definitely tricky, definitely tricky with the uh, where are we at um, segment of it. And interesting um, watching it and going, oh my gosh, that was, that feels like a, a millennium ago. And that's when we were really like watching parts where I'm like, oh my gosh, we were so sick during filming that we were, <laughs> I was like, oh, I don't, I don't look like I'm dying, but I was. Um, wow. Yeah, it's been, it, it's a head trip really. Tasca, for you, how is it as a director? And just like, I know that I feel like you're always thinking about your films on a daily basis, but how is it for you and just like helping Melanie and Julio and your actors like re-step back into the emotional place where they're supposed to be for that scene? Yeah, well, very fortunately, both Julio and Melanie are so incredible and so committed to these roles that they just would bring it, right? So uh, oftentimes I'm like, where are we? <laughs> All right, we're here. Um, uh, it, it, was, um, it was really, it, it was, again, it was a blessing and a curse to have that break. It was really fantastic to come back and be able to finish what we, uh, to, to shoot in 2020 before the lockdown because everything was built on a stage. So it's all those elements that were built on a stage. And we, we went into shutdown about a month after we'd finished shooting that that all that stage work and we were supposed to go to Italy right then and then we couldn't obviously and um but if we hadn't come back and shot that stuff on the stage we wouldn't have been able to use that stage again we would have had to rebuild all those sets it would have been an impossibility for us to recreate all of that so from a production standpoint I was like that's amazing that we got to do that but from a personal standpoint us coming back um and then going to Italy last year um, and that's when we, we, you know, we started back up again was, was going to Italy. It was, a, it was very interesting because the whole company had moved, you know, in, in a separate way, you know, Passion Flicks had moved to Georgia and all of their costumes, all of the actors' costumes and their very specific props were in storage containers, wow. traveling across the country and storage and containers and all these things were, were taking forever to move over. And so I had to try and find certain outfits or certain props that were identical to what was in the storage containers that we couldn't get to, um, to take to Italy to go and film with them for the continuity of, you know, the, the blue dress, for example, had to be made in Italy, but was actually already filmed a year before in Syracuse. So it was very difficult to, to sort of remake those things. Um, and so that was, so there was that, the production side of things, but, what was wonderful about going to Italy then in um, during that pandemic and being with um, Melanie and Julio there in, in this very tight knit group and then coming back and shooting it during this pandemic was our relationship grew. You know, I got to spend so much more time with Melanie and Julio than I ever did before because we were very close. We lived in the same apartment building. We were in the same bubble. So as opposed to being sort of separated as you normally would be with actors, well, I mean, not normally, but you, you're oftentimes, you know, you're in your own space. Mm -hmm. We would have dinners together almost every night. And, you know, leading up to, to, to the production, it was Melanie's birthday. And, you know, so we were doing all these things, but we were always together. And I think that just built our relationship, uh, you know, built on our relationship, made it stronger um, and, and it made it more fun in a way. It was still a lot of work, so much work and everybody brought it, but it was a better relationship, I think, for us. Yeah, no, I, I think that that is a great way to put it, but, and I didn't even think about passion flicks moving cross country during all of this as well. You guys have been through so much. <laughs> well, I know, so where part two ends, I think is an insanely great way to end it. It's heartbreaking and devastating and beautiful, but in the best way. 
what do you like when you I know you Melanie and Julia you talked about filming the scene outside of the kind of interrogation room how did you emotionally prepare for that particular sequence I know Julia said Melanie just give it to me straight but that is the most like heart stricken I have seen Julia throughout all of these films and it just made me think about what your headspace was like before and after that scene so Mel I want to begin with you what was your headspace like for that scene um look as an actor you do your homework you work out you know what you're connecting to you have substitutions you work out as if you're as if 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 you were this person in this situation, and then the main thing is you connect to the human in front of you. And I'm just really fortunate in these films to have someone who is so open and so easy to connect with. And not just that, who wants me to be the best I possibly can and will push me. And sometimes I'm like, Arr. but um, I'm really fortunate to have someone who, who's there with me and in my corner. 100%. Julia, do you want to touch base on your headspace during that scene? Yeah, um, absolutely. What Melanie said, it's, it's mutual. Um, she, she was also pushing me to be my, my best possible uh, version, uh, best possible version of myself. Um, but the only thing is that, as Tosca said, uh, once you stay so many days, you spend so many times, many weeks, many hours with someone, you become, you start to become very acquainted to that, that person, you know, and that, and that personality. And so we as actors, we use a lot of substitutions, especially in the very beginning of the work, because you, of course, you have to prep yourself, you have to prep the entire story and that entire world in your mind and you have to replicate every time that the director says action has to be as if it was the first time but it might be not maybe you already had another two three takes before so you always have to make it real and new and so a, a very uh, a big tr uh, a trick or trip or uh trap sorry my english is gone but anyway um <laughs> um it sorry is that um you because you get acquainted to that person and to the people around you you start to become acquainted and you start to use the same kind of way of saying things or just simply you don't really push as if it was an audition or as if it was your first time on set the very first day and so, especially after such a long time, but that's, again, I was very lucky to have Melanie, but also to have Tosca, that she was always very much focused on what she wanted. We were able to, you know, use ourselves in the best way possible and not to get, you know, comfy with each other. Yes, we were, but I remember that Melanie was saying to me, you're not saying this to me, or I was saying that to her. Uh, because I, I now I know Melanie very much. She knows me, and so she, we know when we are actually connecting to each other, or when we are acting, and we don't want that. And and Tosca didn't want that either. So it was very much like a, a very intense uh, exercise of being fully present, emotionally there, and being fully focused. And that's ex that's very exhausting. Uh, coming back to uh, what you were saying before. I remember that when we had the first uh, the first big wave of the of the COVID in Italy, it was a, it was probably February or March, and of course nobody knew what, what what that was. Everybody was scared. I was called by the national healthcare to be ready in case they needed other doctors. Of course, my father is seventy four. He was called too, so it was kind of a very intense emotional moment for everybody for the entire world it was the first time since i was born that the the, the world was shut down for for days it was it was like a movie you know like uh like something that was not imaginable yeah. till that day and i remember that a year after so after entire 12 months of the pandemic and even some rest in between the summer. I remember that when Tosca called me and said, okay, we're gonna shoot now in four or five weeks. 
and I started to read uh, with Melanie the second movie, the second chapter of the movie, I was still exhausted. I was like, oh my gosh. I, You're like, oh my God. I, I'm, you remember that? I was like, yeah, I don't know if I have the energy to do this again. I was like, I'm still exhausted. But that was because we've been we've been we've been through so much during the movie, and of course, even uh, in between the movies, that was this was probably is this is definitely the most uh, crazy and 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 overwhelming experience I ever had since I started this career twenty years ago. So. Thanks, of course, to Tosca and to Melanie be to be part of this trip. But, yeah. but, but you know, we could. It, it wouldn't be possible if for, for this if, if if it was not for this human being right in front of you because it's uh, it's very hard to you know be fully vulnerable and fully committed to something, but not get. It's like a marathon, you know. But you have to give the, the the energy every day as if you're doing the hundred meters. So you have to run like crazy every day, but still thinking that it's a marathon. Yeah. So it was very important for us to have Tosca and the people around us that supported us through the entire journey, even if the entire even with the entire world shutting down for the pandemic and whatever. But you know, we made it and it's the best feeling ever, as we said in the very beginning, is to be in the movie, in a cinema with in the theater with the public and feel that what you did is great and they are happy about it. And that's the best feeling ever. I love that. Well, I only have a couple minutes left with you guys. Tosca, I wanna wrap with you. So many questions about redemption and promise. Any idea at all about when that's gonna come out or are you going to incorporate part of promise into redemption? How will that work? Well, that's a good idea. Um, <laughs> I mean, uh, well, so redemption is going to be its own, uh, shooting sequence and we'll shoot that, um, in the fall, late fall of this year is the plan. Okay. Um, so start resting up, Julio. <laughs> um, <laughs> start getting prepped now. <laughs> but, um, I have to shoot this man before that. So we're shooting this man first, which yep. is going to be super exciting. And then, um, but then we shoot redemption in the fall and then, and then we'll talk about promise, but, Ooh. um, it's not, it's not a bad idea to shoot it, you know, all together. Uh, I'm super excited about it right now. I'm focused on, on cutting together Gabriel's rapture part three. Yeah. So I'm literally Julio, as, as uh, you were signing in, I was editing with Margie in the room next door. So I feel like I see you guys constantly. That's all I, <laughs> I see you every single day. So it's nice to see you again. And you're talking back to me now. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Well, this has been so much fun. Thank you all so much for joining me. I love these movies so much. I adore all three of you. I cannot wait to come back to set maybe for Redemption in the fall. And I cannot wait to see the fan reactions when this comes out on Passion Flicks this week. You guys, the performances are incredible. I was honestly crying at the end. And Tosca, the way you like just shoot your films and just let your characters breathe is just so wonderful. I wish more directors were like you. So I, I know it's it's it was honestly one of my favorite parts out of all of them. And I've seen them a lot, you guys. So congratulate, I know, congratulations to the three of you. Cannot wait for your fans to see this. And thank you guys so much. Thanks, Thanks so, much, so much, Lauren. Thank you, Lauren. Thank you guys. Let me Ciao see. guys, love Bye. you much. Bye guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs>